so this like story is kind of like a buddy cop meets Inception. And I think that was really cool. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and today we are going to be talking about the novella Snapshot by Brandon Sanderson. This book is absolutely fascinating, and it's interesting because a novella is going to function differently than a full, big novel, and Brandon Sanderson's very well known for his big, thoughtful novels, and trying to be able to do something in a size of a novella is going to operate and work very differently. A novella is going to have to get in there, tell a powerful story, and then get out. And it's only going to have one or two uh, big concepts that it's really going to be able to explore, where a full novel can have half a dozen, a dozen even, of big ideas that it's rolling around and exploring. And this big concept for Snapshot is this like technology that is being used to create an artificial reality in order to insert people from like the real world into this artificial reality to relive a day and thus collect information. So we have Detective Chaz and Detective Anthony Davis who are the main characters here and it's kind of a buddy cop experience as they're going in to these snapshots gathering information and using that to help solve crimes and use as evidence in court cases um, dealing with those crimes. And so that's kind of the concept is what if we could relive a day? What if we had a way to experience something again after we had more information? And that's the thing that they're trying to explore here. And I think that Brandon Sanderson does a really good job of asking questions, uh, posing ideas. And that's where these novella sized stories really shine is putting out a really interesting concept and just like playing with it. This story was initially connected with the Reckoners series, but officially it's not connected mainly due to publisher and film rights, from my understanding. But Snapshot, the function that they're using is essentially a person, and it seems to be similar to the type of people who had powers in the Reckoners series. Also, this is some type of new formed America, and there's also city-states and other type of clues that suggest that this is connected to that universe. Um, but officially, it's not connected, but really it is totally connected. Because of how society is operating right now, um, we are safe to say that this is long after the events of Calamity, which is the final book in the Reckoner series. So before I dive totally deep into this story, I want to give a spoiler warning to you guys. I am going to be talking about this. We're going to be breaking some of the things down. And I think that I want to just like give you that warning. If you haven't read the book, you know, maybe push this on pause and go read this story and then afterwards come back. With that noted, let's dive into the story. Back with Chaz and Anthony Davis, they are like sent into this artificial reality and they live out days and there's these things that they have to like be careful of which are called deviations and deviation would be them acting um, in the world that they're in and because they order a coffee or slam a door or talk to somebody or anything it creates a ripple effect which can change how things happen in the snapshot than how they would have happened in the real world and this is interesting because um and it's even quick question inside of the story is that our choices the things that we do affect others and the ways that we act they cause a ripple but because we live in reality and we are in a continuous timeline we don't get to see what the other possibilities are from our choices but that the idea here is that we significantly affect others and our existence us being um, is profound in how it affects the world and i like that idea and i like that it was explored here with chaz and davis they are going in here and are doing some investigations and it looks like they get multiple investigations to do throughout the day and during the time where they get their first thing and then later in the the day other things they have to just wait while they have that free time they go after a tip of some information that 
they thought would be interesting to investigate and they find a lot of dead bodies and they stumble upon the killings of a serial killer they call the photographer and he is somebody who believes that he is in a snapshot and the way that he's killing people is making it so it's hard to def define when the time of death would actually have happened thus you couldn't go back to a particular day to relive that day to find out who he was and thus he had been evading the police and this was a dark and scary idea because he thinks that reality isn't real and is killing people and here when they run across the photographer in the snapshot he the snapshot version of the killer is actually right though he's doing the things in the snapshot because he's doing them in reality which is real and it gets kind of messy there and i thought that that like like the complexity of that was really impressive particularly with a short novella story that we're doing because we have to pump through all this really really quickly another thing that goes on is that um chaz encourages Dave's to go and visit his son and while he's hanging out with his son we find out that um, Chaz has been cheating with Anthony Davis's uh, ex-wife Molly and he has been really upset and this actually sets up for the like twist in the story where Anthony actually attempts to kill Chaz but ultimately he doesn't and he doesn't because he thinks about the phone number he got um, earlier and uh, while they were out getting some food. And this actually was a deviation uh, because they were actually in a snapshot of a snapshot. So this like story is kind of like a buddy cop meets Inception. And I think that was really cool, really good twist. And these other people were investigating Chaz and Anthony Davis and they are like real and dynamic and actually we're kind of getting it from the point of view of Anthony Davis thus they are a living breathing real being in this snapshot which again levels of like complexity and depth are so poignant here and he kind of at the end talks about how it's sad that I'm going to be the one that's going to be turned off and destroyed though I'm the better version of myself. I'm better than the real me because I ended up not killing my partner. And like, that's just, again, thoughtful, intriguing and interesting. And this book uh, just makes me like stop and think. And I think it's really, really fascinating. This is one I would definitely recommend for obviously Brendan Sanderson fans. This might be one that gets kind of slipped in past the cracks because it's not part of the Cosmere or some of these other bigger series. But even though it's a novella, it's still totally worth it and is a really, really great piece of literature. What are some of your thoughts that you guys have about this story? What are some of the things that you thought were most interesting about it or concepts that were being explored here that you think are either interesting or worth note. Put those all in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, you can follow me on my various social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Nerd Morning um, for more stuff like this. As well, as well, if you're interested, you can support me on Patreon by going to www.patreon.com slash nerdmorning. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.